Hey YouTube, it's June the 29th, 2011, with silver coming in at £21.43b, 34 US dollars and 34 cents. Just had a bit of a bounce there, and gold coming in at £940.15b and US dollars 90 cents. Um, link is down below for you today. Um, of course, you know, did Greece or are Greece going to accept? Um, and of course, Greece Parliament accepts new austerity measures. Um, nice little line in this one. Without the funds, some analysis say that Greece would run out of cash within weeks. Well, of course it was. It's in debt up to its proverbial eyeballs. Um, talking of debt, I just want to have a quick look at vulture funds. If you don't know what a vulture fund is, I'm going to try and explain it to you. A fund that buys securities in distressed investments such as high-yield bonds in or near default or equities that are in or near bankruptcy. So basically, if a country, let's keep it simple, um, it has borrowed, uh, say, $100 over 10 years at 10%, that means at the end of those 10 years, it has to pay $200 in total. Now, if that country can't pay that money, and whoever it owes it to sells that debt on, let's say it sells it on to another country at 20%, um, over 20 years, um, then the, uh, just off the top of my head, is that 400 or $800 at the end of it? I think it's 400. Um, but, you know, it's a, it's a good way of making money, isn't it? So it's not a very nice way of making money. So um, this came out today, Vulture Funds to Profit from a Second Greek Bailout. That's nice, isn't it? This was just highlighting who is a vulture. In the past three months, US asset managers Loomis Sales and BlackRock, Swiss private bank Julius Barr, French assistant manager Nat Dickus, German investment fund Starcap and Luxembourg-based Athenia independent investors are among a raft of funds to have bought Greek Greek sovereign debt in the secondary market. So they are all going to profit from this bailout by using vulture funds. Um, and just to show you what else, uh, this is a classic example. This happened in the Dominican, sorry, Democratic Republic of the Congo (DRC). Uh, basically, vulture funds. This was passed on the second of January. Uh, and basically, you know, the, the Congo, etc., they're in debt up to their eyeballs. Somebody's bought that debt, and you know, people are just going to be making money off it. Interesting part down here about China, actually. Uh, where are we? Revenues from selling electricity to South Africa in February 2010. The Hong Kong Appeals Court authorized it to seize a portion of entry fees paid by China to the DRC for exploring a, exploring a mineral deposit naughty Chinese people. A uh, couple of final links. Uh, this is where Robin Griffiths is calling a bottom in silver in the next couple of days. And that'll be down below. It's from King's World News. And this is just a, a nice little chart one of my subscribers sent me um, looking at the 140 day moving average for gold. Um, and I was saying about the 200 day, but uh, you know, that looks pretty good to me. So, uh, you know, 1,440. If we just move that across there, you will see why I called out that number. There you go. 1,440 is what we're looking at as a bottom in gold, and that means it's bounced off the 140-day moving average. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Silver's having a little bit of a perky up here. But uh, Linky's down below, and watch yourself.